No, I don't buy it. I, uh, there's a story in ProPublica that uh, uh, Thomas had at one point disclosed the private plane trips by Harlan Crow. And then there was an LA Times article about it and the disclosures stopped. Uh, other judges have disclosed private plane trips. It's a, it, any, all of the experts say that the disclosure rules, even before they were recently amended to clarify this issue, even before that, uh, you know, require disclosure of, of anything except personal hospitality. One of the plane trips was a flight to, to New Haven to give a speech. He was well outside of personal hospitality. But th let me just say the broader context, every federal judge who's listening to this, every federal judge who's been on the bench has ha is barred from taking money for speeches is restricted to how much money you can get in teaching, is restricted to travel to, that is just sort of un, you know economy travel. And the reason for that is not just actual impropriety, but the appearance of impropriety, the concern that we don't look like we are bought. And even if it's not true, it sets that appearance. And clearly what ProPublica is describing, which is the 38 destination vacations, et cetera, et cetera, certainly raises the, the, the appearance of impropriety, especially when they were not disclosed. Well, I think that it, it, if this had been the case with anyone on the court, not just a trip here or there, if it had been this kind of, this dimension of support by wealthy donors, I have no doubt there would have been the same outcry, and there have been similar outcries in the past uh, with respect to justices who have gone, you know, who had these kind, not, not, no one has done what, what, what uh, Thomas has done, but there has been that kind of outcry. It points out less than a partisan feeding frenzy. It says something about a court without rules, a court without ethical rules. That's what it speaks to, and it doesn't matter who the target is, it speaks to that more than anything else. Well, the, the, the disclosure rules have been in effect since the 70s. They were the immediate response to the to the Nixon's to the to Watergate. So they've been around. These justices have had to file disclosure reports. So the ethical issues of uh, are one thing, recusal, all of that. But these disclosure rules have been in effect. So these are justices who have filed inadequate disclosure rules, who have failed to identify very, very substantial, uh, very substantial trips and very substantial support. I mean, the notion, for example, that as Justice Thomas said in the latest disclosure, that he had to take a private plane after the Dodd decision because of security issues. Dodd was in May of 2022. That hardly justifies all of the flights that pre predated that. And then he said he needed to take one of these private planes for an ice storm. Uh, unless we're prepared to give a fleet of private planes to all of the federal judges on the public dime, that, that it just doesn't make sense. But, but more significant, this is someone who's simply um, giving the back of the hand to the existing disclosure rules, and that should be troubling whatever side you're on.